think Kathy Hilton's house is beautiful. It's my taste. I love her decorations, but that's about all I like about her. It's her house and her decorations. Yeah. Beautiful. I mean, I have to be honest with you. I like seeing Kathy. She, here she is, guys. We've waited all, Kim's making a face. We've waited all season. Kathy has arrived. Um, She still has that quirkiness of last season with the baked potato and this, and it's the caviar. And now we know what the girl's name is that works for her. And right. you know, okay, it's a little stage when Kyle's like hunky dory. It's kind of right. Funny. I don't know. Kathy's yeah. Kathy's still right now giving me the Kathy of last season. And I, okay. I don't I, I don't know what we're gonna see. I still I'm not sure if we're gonna see all this, this. You know, these, these slurs. That I know. Came, I, I don't know. I mean, is that we'll how see. we're going to do this? Is that how we're going to do this? I don't know. We'll see. I mean, you know, we'll see. Last night was a little bit of a snooze fest. And I got to tell you, um, they're all getting COVID, you know? So I understand the situation, like first, the first three, and then the other ones. So when they're all getting COVID and Jamie Lee Curtis is wanting to hug everybody, I'm like, what the, what? I, I, you know, I would be, even though it's Jamie Lee Curtis, I'd be like, I really don't want to hug. I, I, I just really don't. Everybody has, everybody's getting COVID here. You know what I mean? But it's, it is what it is. That's just me. I'm not a big touchy feely anyway. You know that I'm not a touchy feely girl. I mean, look, it's obvious why Jamie Lee Curtis is on the show. I mean, it was to promote yeah. the charity. Good. Good, good, that, for, you, good for you. Guys, we have Jamie Lee Curtis. Now, everyone, because we have a lot of 20-somethings we found out recently through my shout-out, and they all, I mean, 20-somethings. Jamie Lee Curtis is a fucking icon. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, she this is. This is major. Yeah, she is. This is major. It was major. It was major. Did you see Dorit, everything she pulled out of the bag? I was cracking up. Jamie Lee Curtis cracking. has a big fan, and her name is Dorit Kensley. Dorit, it's hysterical. It's hysterical. I mean, girl, you're hanging out with Boy George. That's why he's also a fucking legend. Oh, uh, yes, I mean, he is. Yes, he is. I agree. Dorit I agree. She was starstruck. She was. Oh, listen, she was. She's a nice girl from Connecticut who grew up with no yep. accent, and now she's in the big leagues. Good for her. I mean, <laughs> with no accent. No it's, accent, Kim. Her mother has an accent. Her mother, what is her? Is, yes. is it Israeli uh, accent? I grew up with Dorit. Yes, their, the parents are, I think the father's name is Shalom. I think, I don't know the exact name, but they, so they are have they Israeli? Accents. Yeah. They're Israeli, like, okay. Dorit is a really Israeli name, but uh, honey, there's no accent in like Woodbridge. No, I know that. And, every, we and, and everyone admit, yeah, everyone says that. This is, I don't, listen. Um, I, I like to read, so I'm going to say, is it a made-up accent? I think yes, but I think that it's warped with her husband's accent, right? you know, and just the way she wants to speak now, because that's really the way she speaks. So Don't I get mean, me wrong. I wish I could have Dorit's accent. I wish I she's could adorable. have accent. It's like adorable. It, 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 it's adorable. And kids stick to it and learn it. I mean, bravo, girl, you know? Bravo. Yeah, she, um, she like, but do you remember? that um, was it Lisa Vanderpump or Kyle. One of them, when she first came on, goes, what accent does she have? Do you remember that? They were unsure because it's not a specific one. It's a, a melted down type of thing, which I think is adorable. I think she speaks adorably. I still think that, you know, I'm going to throw in if others, if we're not just going to get rid of one person, I think Crystal would be second. And I think Diana would oh. be third. You're not a fan of Crystal's. Crystal. Here we go again. I feel bad with this eating disorder stuff. Um, wow. Wow. I, wow. I feel bad for all these women that like that have this, this horrible feeling with food. It's, it's terrible. And it, a lot of it stems from the childhood. Okay. Um, and they will, they, they're pouring it out, looking for advice and um, the pretty mess, Erica. I mean, she's fun. I can't help it. It's not funny, guys. I don't think eating disorders are funny in any way. But when someone gives you that kind of advice, I, I just can't. Take take uh, laxatives. And what did she say? Don't eat the chicken finger? It, it was something about that, about the chicken finger in the end. <laughs> and listen, again, like when you and I were talking about Jackie, I, I told you, I have a friend, a really, who has a eating disorder that makes Jackie's Terrible. look like, Terrible. And my friend takes, I mean, I'm not even kidding you. I don't know how many laxatives a day. All she does is well, take laxatives all day. 
right? The problem with all of this is it affects your heart. Yes. Okay? It affects your heart and they're not going to live long. Keep doing this. This affects your heart. Um, anyone out there who's struggling with this, first of all, it's a mental thing. Okay. Um, you know, just, you really just, if you eat clean and you learn how to do everything in moderation. So before you get to this, we, first of all, if you, if you're, if, if you have an eating disorder, you need to seek help. I'm not the person to, to come to. I love food and I have been able to keep my size and my weight to a certain point, even one of the thyroid, because I, you know, I, I am, I, well, I work at it and I'm healthy and I do whatever. And I do everything in moderation. Okay. That's what I truly believe is moderation. And I'm an Atkins girl, although I don't eat red meat. I used to, um, but you do everything in moderation. You know, you can't, um, if you want to have a cheat day, or if you know, you're going out that <sighs> night, God bless you. Uh, it sneeze to the truth. If you want to have a cheat day, you have a cheat day, but then get right back <laughs> on the wagon. Excuse God me. bless. God bless. So, you know, if anybody wants diet tips, I'm all for giving that to you. Um, but eating disorders is it's a mental thing that when they look in the mirror, they see a fat person, even though they're emaciated. That's scary. It is it's feel, body dysmorphia and it's mental. And all they think about is food, David. They wake up and think about food and they go to sleep and think about food. And that's really scary. That is scary. Really, you know, some people online are being very cruel and they're like comparing crystals. I saw this to, to Jackie's and saying like, we don't need another eating disorder story. I, I mean, know. I don't know. One thing has, you know, there are two different shows. Well, it's about people. the person. It's yeah. really about the housewife and whatever issues they have. Now, listen, we've had every one of them. Their husbands were accused of cheating. Okay, every one of them. So they're all, everybody's husband cheats, everybody this, everybody. okay. Now it's eating disorder situation. Clearly there's a lot more women out there that have this problem, you know, and they hide it. And then all of a sudden it comes pouring out, you know, it's very, very sad. Um, Diana with the licking of her lips is just, it's getting crazier and crazier. It's getting crazier and crazier. I mean, well, every, I yeah. mean, what the, what in the, what is that? Listen, I mean, okay. And her, and, her boy, her boyfriend with the velvet what? suit. David, Not. that velvet suit is something you would wear. You have Gator. Come on. You don't think you don't think that there's something up with this dude? You think he's just there for the 250 million? Maybe. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I'm gay and I would be there. I, I'd marry Diane. <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. I mean, I, I Oh, there would. you go. Come on, David. And you look adorable in velvet and you look adorable in co- like it suits you with your pocketbook. Check. I adore it. But listen, that's I want you as my bestie, but I don't want you sleeping in bed with me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I want like a guy who really wants a woman, not a guy who wants like what the fuck? Well, there's also no room to sleep in bed with you because of all the dogs. I, I know I, that. There's, there's no place. 